Hi, thank you for joining me today. My name is Amanda and I work for the County of San Diego. Due to the current climate of COVID-19, there are orders to stay at home and shelter in place. But despite staying home, we all need to stay connected to our friends and loved ones. Video calls are a great way to stay in touch. And Duo is a video calling app owned by Google that can make seeing your connections even easier. In this video, I'm going to review the basics on how it works. Before we get going, I want to remind you that you can pause or rewind the video at any time if you want to follow along on your own device. The first thing you will do is download the Duo app on your phone or tablet. For some Android users, it may come pre-installed on your device. So, for Android, tap the Google Play icon, which looks like this. For Apple, tap the App Store icon, which looks like this. Once there, type Duo into the search bar and tap Search or the magnifying glass. That may even populate automatically. Be sure it looks like this icon. Next, tap Install. Please note that the screenshots in this tutorial are from my Google Pixel phone, and it may look slightly different on an iPhone or other Android device. Once you've downloaded the app, on your home screen, you'll see the icon that looks a little bit like this. I just want to let you know, as we go through this tutorial, it's made in November of 2020, and some features may have changed, and it might look a little bit different on the version that you download when you decide to use this app. Once you tap on the icon or open the app, this will be your home screen. You'll see your face show up and below your face, you'll see your most recent contacts here. I've blurred them out for privacy's sake. Above your face, you'll see a little search bar and that's where you can search and type for a contact that you want to call. Once you type into the search bar, you can search for anybody in your contacts list. You can even add multiple contacts to form a group with multiple people. I do this with my family members. You can also invite friends that don't have dual already. So I decided to search for my mom and tapped her photo. And this is the screen that you get when you call somebody. You'll see your face appear if you choose the knock knock option that I'll go over later. And you can use that red circle button at the bottom to hang up from this phone call. Okay, so my mom didn't answer. And when she didn't answer I, or I hung up, I get this screen. And you can see in the middle that I have a few delivered video messages. And I have the option of sending a heart just to let her know that I'm thinking of her. Below that, you see three options. The first is a voice call. Perhaps it's been too many video calls today and you just wanna talk over the phone. Go ahead and click that. The middle option is a video call and that is probably the most common feature of this app. The third is to leave a video message and that's that last feature. So if you want to leave a video message, a voice message, or just send a photo, you get that red dot. This is what the screen will look like, and you can record your voice message here. If you decide that you want to just type a message, you can do that as well. And you just swipe along the bottom where it says voice, photo, video, and see note there. When you are leaving a video message, it'll look something like this. You'll see your face and you can go ahead and flip your camera to face your surroundings and you'll see that nice green bush that I have in front of me. When you're doing your video message or your video call, you can add filters and effects, which is something fun to play around with. All right, we're back at our home screen. You see your face, you see the search bar to look for a contact. And then in the top right, you can see three small dots. This is where you can tap to find your settings. We're gonna go ahead and tap settings to see what options they have. On the settings screen, you will see that your email and phone number will appear here. I've blurred it out just so that you all don't have my contact information. And then you can also see call settings 
as well. I'm going to go ahead and tap on call settings. Call settings screen will look like this. And the first option that we're going to look at is the knock knock for this device. I've turned it on, but when you click on it, it will give you this explanation so that you know what knock knock actually is. This is so that your friends can see your video before they even answer and let people know what kind of situation you're in and you can control this and either turn it on or off. That's what this little blue bar here is. If it's blue, then it's on and if it's gray, then it's off. The other option in call settings is this duo moments that allows you to take screenshots during video calls. I currently have it off, but feel free to do whichever option you're most comfortable with. Throughout this whole call settings option, you can always click the back arrow to go back to the previous screen and find your home screen to make a call to a friend or a family member. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or want more information about Duo, check out their website at duo.google.com slash about. Links for the website, customer service, and how to reach us if you have questions about this training can be found in the description below this YouTube video. We hope you stay connected and live well, San Diego.